We're going to begin here tonight with something that hadn't happened since 2009, a death caused by an accident on a U.S. airliner. It happened today on a Southwest Airlines flight. 144 passengers and a crew of five were on board when an engine exploded in flight. A window blew out, oxygen mass dropped, and the plane descended rapidly, making an emergency landing in Philadelphia. One passenger was killed. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Michelle Miller at Philadelphia International Airport. Airport 10, there is a uh, hole in this side of the aircraft. Stop it. There's a hole in the side of the aircraft. The message to air traffic control was dire. Yes, sir. I believe Captain side is where we had the damage, and that's the engine that went out. Nearly 40 minutes into Southwest Flight 1380 from New York City to Dallas, the 18-year-old jet was flying at 32,000 feet when passengers say they heard a loud boom. The left engine exploded. Shrapnel damaged the fuselage, blowing out a window. One passenger was killed. Dallas resident Matt Tranchin said he started to say goodbye to his family. My wife is in her third trimester for our first child. So I spent a lot of my time trying to articulate what I wanted my final words to be to my unborn child, um, to my wife, to my parents. Passenger Marty Martinez was one of the 144 passengers on board. We spoke to Martinez by phone. It felt like it was free falling, going all the way, going, going down. And we were probably like like going down to like 10, 15 minutes. And of course, everyone's freaking out. Everybody's crying. Martina said the plane immediately lost cabin pressure and the oxygen mass dropped from the ceiling. He said several passengers desperately tried to plug the hole in the window caused by the shrapnel with jackets. After an emergency landing at Philadelphia's airport, passengers got a good look at the engine damage. Southwest Airlines chairman Gary Kelly. This is a sad day, and our hearts go out to the family and the loved ones of the deceased customer. And again, Michelle remains at the airport where this happened. Michelle, what do we know about the other passengers involved? We know that seven people were treated and released here at the airport. They are fine. We should note that that is Southwest Airline Flight 1380. The plane actually being moved from the tarmac as we speak, part of the NTSB investigation. Now flights are taking off again here. There was a ground stop or a ground hold for at least three hours after one runway was shut down, Jeff. All right, Michelle Miller, thank you.